In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add an access camera to a Vision NVR using the standard protocol. So basically here I have the camera already connected to the NVR. Here's the cable, UTP cable, and the NVR is powering the camera using PoE, power over Ethernet. As you can see here, green LED is working and I see the camera here on the screen. I also have the camera on the network. So via web browser, I can type the camera's IP here and I have live view of the camera. And here, I have the settings, uh, video stream, as you can see here, is 1920 by 1080. Frame rate is zero, uh, the, the camera is going to use any frame rate the, the camera wants to. And here, orientation 180, because the camera is upside down here, and then the image is correct now when I use 180 here. So basically working here, you see, for the web browser, just make sure everything is correct here. And also I have the IP and username and password that I can use there on the NVR, right? So here in the NVR, I have no camera yet. I just right click here, go to menu, log in to the NVR, and come here on camera. And here I'm gonna click here on add slash delete. And here I have the option to choose the camera. The method in this case here is not plug and play because it's not a high vision camera, it's an access camera, okay? Here, the IP address of the camera I already have, and the protocol, I can choose access or different protocols, OnViv as well. I have another video talking about how to use OnViv. In this case, I'm gonna use access. Management port is 80, default port from access, channel port one, transfer protocol. We have TCP, UDP, I'm gonna use auto. Username root, remember for different cameras, usually it's admin. Here for access is root, default username. And here the password. You need to create a password for your camera. Of course, here I'm using pass just to test this camera, okay? Hit OK here. And wait for the NVR to connect to the camera. The NVR start communicating with the camera. I'm gonna time this using here a timer, right? Uh, stopwatch. So let's see how long it takes for the NVR to connect to this camera. Okay, so the camera is connected now. As you can see here, it took almost one and a half minute to connect. Okay, so you need to be patient because it takes some time to connect. And here on the screen, I see the status. Now it's this blue icon. It changes from connecting to this blue icon. You just click here and you see the image. So it's basically working pretty easy. Okay, so I close here and Come here back to the main screen and here I uh, have the camera here working, right? So if you want to change something on the camera, you need to come back here to the web interface and change the resolution, frame rate or orientation, whatever you want to change. And that applies to the camera. So basically the idea is that you need to change those parameters on the camera and then the NVR is going to connect to the camera again and pull the new video stream. So you need to reload the camera or you need to remove the camera from the NVR and add the camera again. So the NVR is basically is going to ask the camera for the new video stream and it works like that, all right? And that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. See you in the next video.